Hello and welcome back to AMBV. I'm Casper and today we're getting to work on the SR240Z project and replacing a differential I don't even know how I broke. Behind me you can see the SR240Z project. Now this car has been a project in the making forever. It will probably always be a project car. But for those who haven't been following the channel, the short summary is this car started as a project over six years ago. I ran out of time because of all my other car projects, handed it off to a well-known Z shop in the area that supposedly specialized in these cars. I was doing an SR20 swap and modernizing the drivetrain. They said it was no problem, took it over, had it for several years while I went back and forth with them before they basically gave up and gave me the car back and went bankrupt. Now, they sourced a bunch of parts for this car and it seems like everything they did or sourced for the car was a disaster. I undid most of the work they did and did it correctly and fixed a lot of their issues. But once we got the car to a dyno, the engine exploded by throwing, spitting a rocker, which isn't terribly uncommon for SR20s, but is something they probably should have gone through and checked the tolerances of before they gave the car back to me. We hadn't really gone through it, so we were surprised. Then once I got this car all sorted out for the engine and got it back from the tuning shop, we noticed that there was a whine in the differential. Now this differential was another part that that previous shop had sourced, and it's an R200 limited slip out of a later model Z car. So they're pretty bulletproof. And they had said they had gone through it, they had painted it all up so it looked pretty and stuck it in the car before they gave it back to me. So I hadn't really looked it over. But I couldn't believe that a shop that specialized in these things could really mess up a differential like that when it had come from another working vehicle. Well, once I got the car back to my shop after the tuning debacle, I took it out for a test drive and this happened. Now, what happened there was, as I took it out, the noise kept getting louder and louder and louder, and so I started getting nervous and slowing down, getting ready to turn around, and the differential seized completely solid, skidding the car to the side of the road. I had no idea what was wrong with it, but whatever it was, was bad enough that it could stop a 400 plus horsepower engine from moving the car. So we had to have some friends at a local shop there come over and let me use their tools to unbolt the axles so we could roll the car back up into the trailer and get it here. When I got it back to the shop, I pulled the gear set out and nothing inside the, the bell or inside the housing itself looked too problematic. The gears looked okay, but it looked like something had touched the surface a little bit. There were no real filings in it, but the oil looked cooked, like completely cooked. And this was brand new 7590 Redline. We tried to figure out where it was seized, and as it turned out, it was the pinion would not turn at all. So at the front of the differential there for the input from the drive line, that flange was welded in place. I couldn't get that thing out of there to save any of the parts of that differential. So I just took everything, set it off to the side and figured I need a new differential. If I can rebuild that in the future, great. So I sourced a new R200 limited slip from Whitehead Performance. Now this place out of Canada sells these and they will do full refreshes on them and warranty their work. So what I had them do was go through this thing entirely, put new seals in it, adjust all the tolerances on the limited slip, get everything back into spec and just basically get it as close as I could to a new R200. This differential should be good to go, and if not, it has a warranty, and I'll throw it back in a UPS box and send it back to Canada. Now, the only downside to this is, when I spec'd out this differential, I told them that I thought that the drive line that I had in the car had a 10 millimeter bolt flange on it, and it turns out it has one of the older eight millimeter bolt flanges, so I need to change up my drive line a little bit to properly bolt to this drive line, but you won't have to wait for that because I'll put that all in the same video. So let's get started by getting the new differential under the car.
It's a new day, and as you saw, we got the differential in the car, but it has to come back out to be filled with fluid. You can't reach the fill plug while it's actually in the car. Not a big deal at this point, there's nothing really in the way, so we'll drop that down and get it taken care of, but I also had time to get my new drive line made. Now, the new drive line has the 10 millimeter flange at the end, it is quite a bit thicker, and because it is thicker, I had to get a whole new drive line made up with a new end for the transmission as well, so I have a spare sitting here. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm sure I'll come up with some project to use it on, but this gives me everything I need to get the car moving again. So let's get back to work and get this thing down on the ground. Well, there we have it. The car's back together. It ultimately moves under its own power and everything fit mostly as it should. The driveline was a perfect fit, great improvement there. I have the right hardware for it now, which is also nice. The fill plug on the differential was unbelievably hard to get out of there. That took a lot of persuading and ultimately I'm probably gonna replace the fill plug because I actually bent it a little bit when I was getting it loose, but it had gotten some of the paint from the outside of the casing in there and it was basically like Loctite. It's filled with 7590 Redline, and the car rolls back and forth really nicely in the shop. Unfortunately, it's pouring down rain and hailing outside, so I won't be taking it out for a test drive right now. If you have any questions about this particular setup, or if you're doing something similar, please leave it down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.